Game two of the Western Conference semifinals. The Grizzlies come in off a critical game one win and are now poised and prepared as they attempt to take a 2-0 lead against the Golden State Warriors. Round two of the NBA playoffs continue. Coming right up. On tap tonight, NBA playoff action continues. It's game two of the Western Conference semifinals. And tonight we've got the Memphis Grizzlies playing against the Golden State Warriors here in Chase Center. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Perry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Now with the Memphis' starting group, the lengthy post tandem for them, Jackson and Adams. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Conchar in at the three slot for the Warriors. Up at the forward spots, it'll be Wiggins and Green. Booty is out there with Chris Paul. And it's Looney in at the five, roaming the paint. going to be the Grizzlies off the tip. Morant against Paul. Shoots from 12. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there. And I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage if you do. It's just going to be so tough to keep up. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Green. Yeah, what really sets Draymond apart is that tenacity. I mean, he never stops fighting you. I mean, any second he's on the floor, He's competing, and he's coming at you. So he gets them both. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Outside, Bain. Pass to Jackson. Fade away. And it's Looney with the rebound. And he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked, but in the process, he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade. Paul passes to Looney. Six on the shot clock. Down low. Here's Wiggins, and Wiggins throws it down. Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. Outside, Bain. He feeds it to Jackson. Adams in the high post. Back to Jackson. Here's Conchar, covered by Wiggins. Warriors with the rebound. Early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. They retain possession. A, a terrific defender. And, and Jackson, one of those guys with great timing when he goes for the shot block and not afraid to send a message as well. well he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Here's Moran. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Yeah, I'm amazed at Morant's ability to take contact and still stay in full control. Here's Looney. And here is Green. Out to the wing. Let's it go from 14. A shot by Paul, no good. The Grizzlies have gone just one of four to get this game started. Now here's Morant, defended by Looney. Memphis moving it around. 
Outside for Jackson. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. Pass to Moody. Now here's Paul. Adams defending. Adams against Paul. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Wiggins from outside. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Wiggins has got five points so far. Outside, Bain. To the inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And this is where Jackson feasts. And in times, he's just too overwhelming for the deep, which results in the foul. The Grizzlies shooting their first free throws of the night. Free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Makes it pretty tough on the defense. Who are you going to pick to send to the free throw line? He's hitting the free throws right now. Form looks good. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Paul against Morant. And Paul gets it to go in. Well, right now, the defense completely uncomfortable in guarding pick and rolls with Chris Paul. He loves to dice up the D in those sets. Morant outside. And there's the pass to Concho. Back to Morant. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got four rebounds now tonight. Paul outside. Now here's Wiggins. He's got five. Green, the screen. Higgins passes to Green. And the rejection by Jackson. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. The Grizzlies trail by five. Bain kicks to Morant. Passes it to Jackson. Over Green. And Jackson with the basket on the assist by Morant. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong finisher in the paint. Pass to Wiggins. And he uses the glass on the lane. Wiggins has got seven. Memphis has gone 0 of 2 from DP. Outside, Bain. And there's the foul. And we go on Moses Moody. That's his first foul. And Memphis making a change here. Clark's checked in. Number 15, Brandon Clark. Bain hasn't made one yet. Conchar, the pass to Bain. Morant against Paul. Four on the shot clock. Bain sets the screen for Morant. Good as the jump shot falls. Morant's got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Looney with it. 
the dish to Paul. Let's it go from deep. Another three for Golden State. Consistency through the years. Chris Paul, a threat from deep. And so Moran will bring it up for the Grizzlies. They trail by six. Clark against Green. Clark kicks to Bain. He gets that one. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Al Paul, five points in the game. Crafty move, and Adams sends it back. Well, Steven Adams is very much capable of anchoring the defense right there in a great spot to get the block. Clark, the pass to Moran. Over Paul. And the Grizzlies tap on two more. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Paul against Moran. Paul kicks to Wiggins. Pass to Green. Inside, Paul. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Moran looking around. It's stolen by Green. Here's Moody. Kicks it out to Paul. Green with a screen on Morant. Here's Paul. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. Aggressive on the take. Chris Paul with a little spirit in that one. Paul against Morant. Clark has screen on Paul. Now here's Morant for three. Connects from three-point range. Morant's got nine. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want. To leave open. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Dominguez come in for Green. Peyton comes in for Moody. And it's Joseph in for Chris Paul. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. The Warriors leading. We've got 148 left here in the first quarter. Joseph against Smart. Joseph, the pass to Looney. That one drops for him. And the Warriors lead by three. And Looney's a guy you can rely on on both ends of the floor. Peyton against Rhodes. Boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. 
And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Warriors? So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Well, I want to add also the damage that has been done on the inside. It's a lot of rubble in there, but we're continuing to go right at the defense. And he knocks down the first one. And you got to love watching Rose play the game. His intense style can be infectious out there. And I think it really does elevate his teammates. Sharks checked in for the Warriors. Paul comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Williams is checked in for the Grizzlies. Rose hits them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. And the pass to Sharich. Now Kaminga over Jackson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Jaron Jackson. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. At the line for the Dubs, Jonathan Kaminga. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Tillman's checked in, and it's John Morant in for Williams. And he's good on the second. Memphis trailing here. 103 left in the first quarter of the game. Now here's Morant for three. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Joseph the pass to Paul. Could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. CP3 so good at initiating contact and just irritating the defense. It's his first trip to the line. Free throw, good ball. Not much more you can say about CP3. Name a better floor leader. There's not one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 46 seconds left in the first. They set the pick. Morant with it. Now guarded by Sharks. Well, this is how you use the pick and roll. Morant looking like a vet with the sweet dime there. All against Morant. And they call an illegal screen here. That's a whistle he did not want to hear. His second foul. And we're not even out of the first quarter. Memphis leading. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Loads it up there for Morant. Up high to stuff the alley oop. Yeah, that's big time stuff there. Morant looking unafraid to go get those lobs and finish it. Morant against Paul. He dishes it to Kaminga. Heaton passes to Sharich. Just five to shoot. That's good from Joseph on the assist by Sharic. And Sharic, just one of those European players that comes over with the fundamentals. What a shot! Oh, yes. Amazing! That would count! Unreal. Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He witnessed him delivering a series of three-pointers as he notched three total in the quarter. And 
Glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Memphis. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. So the Grizzlies five right now. They've got Smart. Jackson is out there with Brandon Clark. Then there's Derek Rose. And it's Morant in at the point. Out to Peyton. Let's the three fly. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Peyton's got his first three points of the game. And simply one of the best to ever do it. Chris Paul always making the right play. Morant passes to Clark. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Rose against Joseph. Here's Paul. Rebounded by Jackson. And the Grizzlies leading by three. To the paint. Here's Clark. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Paul with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. And there's the bucket from Kaminga. Well, so much deceptiveness about Chris Paul's game that he doesn't know how to guard him right now in the pick and roll. Outside Rose. Back to Morant. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Morant's got the lead up to five now for the Grizzlies. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Passes to Kaminga. Back to Paul. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, and out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason, as shown on the 2K leaderboard. John Morant is second. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Raymond Green comes in for Kaminga. Moody subbed in for Corey Joseph. And the Grizzlies also with the sub. Christopher's checked in. High arcing shot, and the layup good by Smart. Smart's got his first points of the night. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. Pass to Moody. Charge inside. He's covered by Clark. The shot by Charge, no good. And the Grizzlies leading by seven. Here's Christopher. Charge grabs the board. Pass to Paul. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Oh, and he parks it off the glass. Wow. Smart against Paul. Outside Jackson for the three. No good that time. And here's Charlotte. She'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Seven-point differential. The pass to Moody. Ball is screen on Smart. Back to Paul. Over Rose. The shot's good from Paul. Paul's got 11. Yeah, hard to stop CP3 when he's in the rhythm. He's in the mid-range. It's a deuce. Rose surveying the D. To the middle. Here's Clark. That shot missing. Some solid defense from Sharich. Pass to Moody. Paul against Smart. Paul left side. Pass to Moody. Now, here's Peyton. Some nice passing by Golden State. And the rejection by Jackson. To the paint. And the dunk by Jackson. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. 
And this would be a terrible blow. Hopefully it's less serious than it looks. Well, looking at his face right there, you can tell he's in a lot of pain, and there's a lot of trepidation right now on that team's sideline. Kevon Looney is checked in for the Warriors. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. Paul passes to Moody. Paul is screen on Smart. Knocked away. Stolen by Smart. And it goes down two points. And it's a nine-point Grizzly lead. Terrific steal. Smart doesn't take a lot of chances, but knows when to pick his spot. Smart against Paul. Here's Looney. And the rejection by Clark. Outside, Smart. Back to Rose. Jackson down low. Payton's there. Christopher, no good. The Warriors have gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Call against Smart. Paul passes to Looney. Over in the corner, Kaminga. Pocket six. And the Warriors miss again. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down the offense. And it seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Warriors trail by nine. Pass to Looney. Back to Payton. Here's Kaminga. Down low. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Smart. Yeah, Chris Paul, when he gets into those tight spots, he becomes pretty smart in there. The Warriors shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Higgins is checked in for the Warriors. Both free throws good from Paul. Here's Morant. 19 points in the game. Good for the basket, number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And what a show Morant is putting on. Every time he touches the ball, you feel like he's going to score. The drive by Paul and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one's on Morant. The Warriors have been good at the free throw line in this one, seven of eight. That free throw, no good. No good on the second free throw. That's a, a strange trip because typically he's pretty much money from there. Payne finds Morant. Score the basket for his 10th make. 10 for 12. 83% accuracy. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Paul passes to Wiggins. Over Conjaw. Good on that shot, and with that, the Memphis lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Andrew Wiggins. The Wiggins with a good use that time of the mid-range shot. The pass to Bing. And it's off from three-point range. And 
so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Morant with the steal. Into the lane. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the Warriors making a change here. Joseph's checked in. On the free throw, no good. And there's no doubt Morant near the top of the list of elite scorers in this league. Letting a guy sneak by for a putback off a free throw, that, that is inexcusable. And Joseph kicks it to Looney. Feeds to Kaminga. Banked in off the glass. Kaminga's got five. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Morant passes to Bain. Inside, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Making the most of the screen, that's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. This is it to Joseph. Let's it go with a three. That's his second shot in his second basket. He's two for two. And Wiggins' game continues to evolve. You saw that right there. Good eye movement found the shooter. Joseph against Morant. To the inside. Adams. And Adams with the slam. Just playing with poise and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Wiggins surveying the floor. And Kaminga throws it down. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does break. Outside, game. Here's Conshaw. Hits it from three-point range. Conchar's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Joseph against Morant. Down low, stolen away, and even three-on-three -three break. Pass to Tillman. Outside, Bain. The three from Morant. And it's Looney with the rebound. Ah, uh, you love basketball. Couldn't miss in the first quarter. Now can't make it in the second quarter. Got to be eating at him just a bit. The feed to Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. And cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. And here's Morant. And it's good for two. Morant's got the lead up to 13 now for Memphis. And the level of concentration. Morant looked under control despite being under heavy duress. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. 13 points up at the end of the period. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Andrew, they shot the lights out in the first half. What has to change? Uh, get back. You know, focus on getting back, guarding your man. Uh, and I think he's real. It starts with a man-on-man -man challenge. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime.
And we thank you for joining this postseason broadcast, and it's been an outstanding first half for the Memphis Grizzlies. I don't want to resort to a hyperbole, but they've looked perfect on the offense for much of the night. The thought process, the execution, it's all on point. Been a one-sided clinic on getting good looks, that's for certain. And Kenny, I don't think I've ever heard you use the word hyperbole. It's like you're reading it off a screen or something. <laughs> Looking at the series breakdown for the Warriors. Some would look at this game as a must win in the series. One of the keys to getting it done. For me, Ernie, it's all about protecting the ball. Treating every possession like it's your last. And defensively, you got to be extra hungry. Chase down every rebound and keep constant pressure on the shooters. Good tips from the experts. Oh, when no one's an expert. Man. I am. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. We return again with more playoff action from the Western Conference Semifinal. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. Chris Paul is out there with Moody. Then there's Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Andrew Wiggins, and it's Looney in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the Warriors' five. Morant with the bucket. Morant's got 29. And the body control of Morant, still able to guide that one home. Wiggins outside. Pass to Looney. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Steven Adams picks one up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And he can't get the first one. If you have the good fortune of playing next to superstars in this league, there are certain guys who thrive in that environment, and Kevon Looney has been one of them. And the second free throw, good. And the Grizzlies leading by 12. Up top, Adams. The pass to Bain. It's tipped. Now here's Paul. Passes it to Moody. Kuminga with it. Guarded by Jackson. Tries from 10. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. Oh, strong work inside to fend off the D and, and finish. He'll battle you down low every time. Morant gets to Jackson. Outside, Dane. Over Paul. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got nine rebounds now tonight. Moody the pass to Paul. Fires away from way outside. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Morant against Paul. Morant reaches to Adams. The shot's good. And the Grizzlies lead by 12. Well, tough to stick with Steven Adams on that play. Great at diving into the open space after the massive screen. Pass to Looney. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. That'll be his second foul of the game. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive.
Memphis on defense. And it's Wiggins missing. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Payne finds Morant. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Here are this postseason's dead-eye shooters. These guys have knocked down a ton of shots from downtown. Now you look at Moody, one of the best shooters in the NBA, top five in the league at this moment. He is having so much success from beyond the three-point line. Some guys just thrive on this kind of pressure. To the right side. Kicks to Kaminga. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Kaminga's got 14. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Morant drives in over Paul. And it's Morant missing. Warriors trail by nine. Higgins outside. Pass to Kaminga. Three-pointer. The Grizzlies pull it in. Adams has got rebound number seven for him tonight. The pass to Morant. Spin. And then Morant slams it in. And the rugged toughness of Morant. Excellent at fighting through there and capitalizing in style. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. And it's Paul with the ball for Golden State. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. To the middle, there's Looney, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And Looney is so long, gets up there and rushes it. Morant against Paul. Jackson a screen on Paul. Morant passes to Jackson. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his sixth assist on the night. Warriors trail by 11. Paul with the ball. He's got 13. Hit by Kaminga. Jacks up a three. The shot by Paul, no good. And the Grizzlies leading by 11. Now, Morant. He's got 31. Outside, Bain. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. And a closer look here at the hustle stands for the Grizzlies. A high-effort brand of defense has been paying off on in this one. They've managed to either block or alter a ton of their opponent's shots. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Paul kicks it to Looney. Inside. That one's good, and the Grizzly lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Wiggins. All against Morant. Over Paul. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. And the Grizzlies call their first timeout of the game. Memphis calls timeout.
if he's checked in for Paul. And Memphis also making a switch. Clark is checked in for Jaron Jackson. Here's Conchar. A kick out to Bain. Four on the clock. Clark sets a screen for Bain. Shoots over Kaminga. Bain with the bucket. Bain's got the lead up to 14 now for the Grizzlies. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Wiggins outside, pass to Moody. Back to Wiggins. Outside, Joseph. Shoots over Morant. It's rebounded by Memphis. Bean passes to Concho. Morant against Joseph. Clark dishes to Morant. Adams with the screen on Joseph. Yep, that one goes in there. Morant's got 33. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Morant against Joseph. Kaminga kicks to Wiggins. Pass to Joseph. Back to Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. He makes that look so easy. Andrew Wiggins up and down on the alley -oop. And the Grizzlies leading by 14. And here's Morant. 33 points for him. Bain with the screen on Joseph. Pulls it from the elbow. Andrew Wiggins pulls it in. And it's Wiggins with the ball for the Warriors. Pass to Joseph. Now here's Looney. He has five. Here's Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down hard. And how about the acrobatics from Andrew Wiggins way up that time? Nice angle on that replay with the AT&T 5G slam cam. Morant with it. Thirteen feet away. Almost, but it rolls out. Warriors trail by 12. Outside, Joseph. There's the pass to Kaminga. Back to Joseph. Just five on the clock. There's a good screen. A three-pointer. Wiggins. Again, Wiggins missing. Really excellent defense there. They know he's capable of knocking it down from the outside, and they could not have played him better. To the paint, here's Clark, and it's Clark with the jam. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. The Warriors have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far, just above 50%. Timeout called the Warriors.
some changes here for the Warriors. Charge comes in for Kavan Looney. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Moody. Memphis also making some changes. Tillman's checked in. And Marcus Smart has subbed in for Kanjong. left here in the third quarter. Higgins outside. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by Smart. He kicks it to Rhodes. Morant against Joseph. Now, oh! Fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fella. Passes it to Sharich. Here's Kaminga. That balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists in the game. Morant passes to Tillman. And he lays it straight in. Tillman's got eight. Well, Morant's acrobatics often get the attention, but his passing is also elite. 43 seconds left to play in the third. And Kaminga throws it down. It really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. Pass to Tillman. Dishes it to Morant. Again, Memphis. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Hit by Kaminga. And Joseph kicks to Sharich. Pass to Kaminga. The shot and game clock separated by four. No one near Peyton as he lets it go. Another three for Golden State. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. John Moran has been leading the charge, guys, for Memphis. He was a true standout at the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. And we'll be right back after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And the Grizzlies leading by 12 on the court for Memphis to start the fourth. Brandon Clark is out there with Jaron Jackson. Then there's Derek Rose. Then there's John Morant. And it's smart in at the three, the small forward. The pass to Joseph. Kicks it to Sharnich. Down low. Kaminga gets it to go on the assist by Sharks. Sharks has got three assists in the game. Joseph against Rose. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Grizzlies lead by 12. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Sharks a screen on Morant. 
Paul passes to Joseph. Stolen by Rhodes. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. A quick look, no good that time. That's yeah, pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. This is it to Kaminga. Pulls it up. Rebounded by Smart. The shots like that drive coaches batty. I'll be shocked if he attempts that shot again. Rose against Joseph. Out to Morant. The dish to Clark. Five to shoot. Smart misses. Warriors trail by 12. Pass to Paul. Back to Sharks. Over Morant. And the Warriors miss again. And Morant's got the ball here for Memphis. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. Clark finds Rose, and here's Jackson. He's covered by Joseph. Jackson, that's good. Love it when Rose looks to share the ball, especially when his teammates are open like that. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Outside, Joseph. Pass to Kaminga. Over Jackson. And again, no good by Golden State. Well, that's the only way to take him out of his comfort zone from that range. Get right up in the jersey, force him off the spot. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Two open that time, made it look too easy. And the Grizzlies lead by 17. And of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting the three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Now a timeout called by Golden State. some changes. Tillman's checked in and it's Bain in for Morant. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. There's the lob to the hoop. A flawless finish on the alley-oop. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Now Rose. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Charge, that's good. Charge has got his first points of the game. Now, Charge on the inside has really good quality footwork. Outside Rose. 11 feet away. It's good. And the Grizzlies lead by 15. Really enjoy his work on the inside. The D was there, but helpless. Ball 
right side. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Rhodes. Pajemski's shot is good. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Jackson, a screen on Payton. Payton, no good. Warriors have gone 4-7 for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Paul looking around. Payton in the corner. Five on the clock. Here's Pajemski. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Memphis leading by 12. Outside, smart. Here's Tillman, defended by Looney. Tillman passes to Bain. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Paul against Smart. Paul outside. Peyton outside. Here's Pajemski. Stolen by Jackson. Smart with the ball. He's picked up by Paul. Bain. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Here's Pajemski. He's covered by Rhodes. Out to Sharp. It's up a three. Derek Rose grabs the miss. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Smart passes to Jackson. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got three assists in the game. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And there's the pass to Sharch. Pass to Pajemski. They set the pick. They get it back. Paul for three. Trains the three-pointer. How about the way Chris Paul manipulates the defense with the handle there? Phenomenal at keeping his focus. Timeout called the Grizzlies. the New Balance player of the game, Ja Morant. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. 
Outside, Bain. Morant with the screen on Wiggins. Bain for three. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Bounce pass from Paul. Passes to Kaminga. Over Jackson. And he can't bank that one in. Memphis with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. Morant passes to Smart. Looking for Adams. He gets it there. Outside for Jackson. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Well, Steven Adams has more skills than just being a screen setter out there, showing them off there. Now, here's Moody. Guarded by Smart. Here's Paul. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Paul's got five points now this quarter. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Paul against Morant. And Adams kicks to Morant. Adams down low. Defended by Looney. Kept alive. Jackson passes to Smart. And here's Morant. Six to shoot. Adams drawing the double team. And a wide open look for Payne. And again, it's Memphis with the three. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Grizzlies. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And this is a team right now that is really playing with swag. Yeah, and anytime you can go up 2-0, you are in the driver's seat. They, they are riding pretty high going into game three. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for John Morant. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way, too. Back to Paul. Looking for Kaminga. He gets it there. And the rebound by Jaron Jackson. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Adams outside. Bain kicks to Smart. Bain sets the screen for Smart. Let's it go from the wing. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Wiggins dishes the ball. Out to the right wing. Corner shot. And the shot is good. Pretty much count on double-digit assists from Chris Paul, one of the best passers in league history. Here's Morant. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody have the green light. So, I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just lets you go out there and play your game. So uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you. So. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we present our New Balance player of the game, Ja Morant.